I've told them, you either deal with us or we are going back to start to deal with it. We will go back to driving into Slab Murphy's yard. Because I can tell you this, I know who's at it. I know who the main people are that is doing this. Who feels is the cover for the IRA in South Armagh. And they're delivering all over the country. They claim the VAT. Not once or twice, but sometimes three times for the same load of fuel. And Mr Baggett, stop trying to treat us like fools. They're cleaning the system. Money coming in from Europe that is meant for the genuine farmers, both Celtic and Protestant, the law-abiding farmers, is being creamed off through fraud. And the head of the fraud unit in Dard is working for the IRA. And it's not in the public interest. No point in putting a story into a paper, Mr Paisley, saying that a third of the fuel in this country is being smuggled by the Republicans when you can't even find the bloody bother. Start listening to the people who know what's going on. Well, they're making at least, at least, making 150 million a year. Now that's serious money, folks. And you may say, Aqua, so what? I'll tell you what difference it make. That money has been used to buy Protestant farms. It's been used to put Protestant businesses out of uh, operation. It's buying Protestant homes. It has been used to buy this country out. Not only is that going on, but the dard within this country, the millions that are coming in from Europe that should be going to genuine farmers, both Catholic and Protestant, is going into the hands of the IRA. Sinn Féin IRA have their people in different departments and they're forking out millions. If it's not Dard, it's other government departments where they're forking out money for uh, sport. You name it, they're doing it. And nobody cares. That's why they took a risk that they were prepared in daylight to try and ram me or box me in in South Armagh. Now, I don't know what their intentions actually were, but I do know this. I can say this. There's something seriously wrong in this country when men can jump out of cars in boiler suits with weapons and have a hooded man in the vehicle as well. They certainly weren't there to give me a parking ticket. They're cleaning this country. They're destroying the infrastructure of this country. And people will say, what's this got to do with victims? I know, will I? What's this got to do with victims? I'll tell you, what's got to do with victims? To be able to carry this out, they have to have a fear in the community that people are afraid to speak out. And people are afraid to speak out. And that's why people have come to me. Because the men and women that went before us are a credit to Ulster. And we should be ashamed of ourselves that we can't howl what they left behind for us. The very ground that they're buried in is being bought by the IRA from within them, under our feet. And not one of us I'm not saying not one of us, I mean political parties or whatever, is doing a thing about it. I just, uh, I thought for a while the politicians just are that corrupt and rotten that they don't care. But I'm now starting to believe that it's the people who are advising them. It's the people who are making the millions or the, the 70, 80, 90, 100,000 pound a year plus expenses as their advisors who never heard a shot fired in their life that is advising these politicians oh you should do this spin doctors they call them in uh, the mainland sell out merchants is what I call them here traitors is another word for them we need to waken up here folks our whole culture now Mark McGuinness and him you know they the met the orange and they used the opportunity to say how, how the Orange were disgusted 
with the bands. They couldn't even have the meeting and have the decency to keep the contents of that meeting to themselves. They seen the opportunity of putting a wedge in between the bands and the orange order. Did they miss it? No. They took it and they used it and they abused it. What did the orange order get out of eating Martin McGuinness? A slap in the mouth. That's what they got. And a wedge put to 